Hi, if you're watching this because you saw our little post on Instagram or Facebook, then yay! Um, and if you've just come across it on YouTube, then hopefully you'll love it too. Nice. What are we doing today? Oh, well, sorry, you need it. Sinead, from our Lab Tree Kit products. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Um, so we have a few hot offers up for this week and you need to, we'll be explaining to you how to... So yeah, I'll be talking um, about how you break stuff and what you can fix and what we've got that will help you fix that stuff. Um, so yeah, a few of you guys have called me and sort of said, can I fix this and do you have parts for that? So that's what I'm going to talk about. Easy peasy. Yeah. Well, my saw of the week is the... You be my little assistant. I'm a step away. She tends to be a <laughs> uh, My favourite saw in the folding saw range is the Gone Boy. Um, it is just a great multi-purpose um, folding saw. So it's great for you guys who love like hiking or camping or what have like a little survivalist kit. Um, this will do the trick as the blade folds into the handles for easy storage. Or if you were just after a general pruning saw just around the garden for all those little annoying branches, um, this is your saw goes to saw. Um, it comes in a few different blade lengths, which is pretty exciting. Um, and it also does come in a straight and a curved blade. So the new curved blade is fantastic. And, um, you know, and it looks like this. <laughs> and it comes with a bright red yellow handle. So for you guys who just put your stuff on the ground, be able to spot it. <laughs> um, the great thing about these Gone Boys as well is that they do come with their own little um, Gone Boy cases. Well, they come with it. It's like an optional extra. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you tell us you want it, it'll come with it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, it's got a little belt hook as well through it, so you can attach it to your belt. Or if you have little D clips as well, just tie it through, and you can have it around with you guys. Um, where if you're roaming around the garden. Um, also, just for storage wise as well, um, you can pop it in there if you're putting it in the car or something, just to keep it nice and safe. Um, it has the same material as the handle as well, so it won't fall out as easy. That's all. <laughs> so, so one of the cool reasons, as Sinead mentioned though, with these Gone Boys, is there's a variety of like blade options, lengths, shapes, whether it's curved or straight, and also tooth sizes. So yes. Yeah, Sinead mentioned before that we have the curved one. This has a, a different tooth size to the black handle. Um, and then there is another Gone Boy that has a, an extra large tooth as well. So there's a couple of different tooth options and blade styles. So it's sort of really dependent on what you're going to use it for. But like Sinead said, this is her favourite because it's just such a fantastic like general purpose one. If you're really not 100% sure what you're going to do, that particular tooth style and the straight blade is fantastic and that, that length is a great length too. Um, but yeah, it can come down to what you're going to use it for and what space you've got because if you're hiking you might not have heaps of space in your backpack um, so you know a certain size saw will be what you're after and the great thing with Gone Boy is it has that range so it might be the perfect saw for you. Um, should, sort of getting into the technicalities you don't sometimes get to see in the shop, which is cool, which is why we're here to help you know what those technicalities are. One of the, the cool things with Silky Saws, opposed to some other brands you might have used or seen, is just little little features that they put on these saws that take time, it takes money for them to you know do in production, but it means you get this amazing product that works so much better. And one of those things is the blades. They're hollow ground blades. So they're not a triangle where it's you know smaller at the top, bigger at the teeth. They're actually hollowed out in the center of the blade. So they, they're it's sort of like a grinding wheel, scoops them out like this. So if you were to look down the blade like this, you would notice that it does that. So the narrowest part of the blade is actually that center section there, then the top bit, and then the teeth are the widest. So that means that when you're using it, you're actually cutting a much larger hole than what that blade is. And particularly since the center of it is so narrow in comparison, it means it's not going to rub, so you're not going to get friction, it's not going to jam as easily, and it's just going to feel so easy when you use it. So that's one of the, the technical things that the Gone Boy Blade has um, that you might not find on other saws. It really is. And my part, talking about parts, 
um, is we get calls quite often of can you buy parts for Silky or what parts can you buy? And so pretty much 99% of these saws you can buy parts for. So, you know, if you break a blade, obviously, you're going to be able to get a replacement blade. Um, on that gone boy, the screws, if you lose screws, you can get screws. We have a whole section out the back there on parts. So bags and one. bags <laughs> of screws and bolts and washers and even little bits that go inside the holes. Um, yeah, if you can get it off, pretty much you can get that as a part. Uh, but I just wanted to talk quickly, if I could, about pole saws because it's probably one of the most common parts that we get asked about is if you break a pole. Now, you don't have to replace the whole pole saw. Um, that could be really costly. You just replace the part that you've broken. So in this case, it's the handle. I think this poor pole saw or owner of it um, dropped it on a fence when it was fully extended. So the, the weight of obviously having eight meters of pole has caused that to actually bend. And the interesting thing with these uh, pole saws is they're obviously designed to be used on this angle. So this flat section's facing towards you because that's where your levers and also the blade will go this way. So that would be obviously the most ergonomic way to hold it. I'm gonna hitch now over there with it. Um, <laughs> uh, and so because of that, that's where they make the strength. So if you are cutting a palm frond or a branch and it flicks back and tries to hit the pole while the pole's still in its, its directional way and you can't move it out of the way, Make sure you keep it in this direction. Don't turn it sideways, whatever you do, because superior strength here means not as great a strength on the side. So this is where it will probably cope with a bit of a, a bashing, but it won't on the side. So don't turn the pole, whatever you do, hold it strong, and um, hopefully you won't be calling us one of these poles. But should it happen, and should you have one of those workers that unfortunately kind of, you know, look out, don't look after it the way you do. Um, yeah, you can get the parts that you need for it. And what else have we got happening this week? We, well, not for this week, but all of the month of February, we have a promotion. We are giving away a silky saw to you guys. Not just any silky saw, our amazing arborist Zubat saw. It's cool. Ooh. And you guys actually... I guess not exactly invented it, but requested it, and yeah, it's made, it's yeah. cool. So you asked for it, we got it for you. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> um, but yeah, we are giving away a silky sauce, so you can just send us a message via Facebook, Instagram, or um, email, and you just let us know why you really, really want a silky saw. You don't have to own a silky saw. Easiest competition ever. Yeah, easy as, or you can send us a photo, or a photo of a branch you want to be cut down. Um, we would love to see your, um, your photos and hear your feedback. Um, so yeah, they're only the month of February, so yeah. get sending. <laughs> so yeah, so they can send something, email to us, yes. picture or just words. <laughs> um, what, Instagram, they can again, picture or just a little comment. Yes, or, or you can tag um, us in a photo. Tag us one in But make sure you like mention why you're doing it. So otherwise we might go, oh, nice photo, but we won't realize it's an entry to the competition. <laughs> so make sure you say, here's my entry. <laughs> we'll <it>, Bob. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> We're girls, we'll just accept yeah. it as it is. So make sure you write competition entry. <laughs> so that's probably the hardest part of the competition. Yeah. Getting us to recognize you've just entered it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, that's all we have for this week. Um, so yeah, also if you've got anything yes. you'd like us to talk about next week, let us know. Yeah, so if you have any questions, please let us know as well. Cool. See ya. Nice talking. Bye. Nice talking. Where did that come from? That was actually six minutes.